Alrighty, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Xanthus Gaming. We're here today in Path of Exile, and we're playing Delirium Leak. It has been two or three leaks since I've played. Uh, last time we played, we did make it up to maps, and we made it through the first couple tiers of maps, and we kind of fizzled out after that. Uh, goal this time is to make it all the way into red maps and get our first Shaper slash Elder kill. This first episode will be pre-recorded and then edited, uh, just because the very beginning is pretty slow. After that, though, it will be uh, Let's Plays like live streamed, so no footage cut out. Uh, but this first this first bit, we're going to edit a little bit. So get going. We're going to do our starting quest, get our starting gems, all that stuff. Um, have a look around it in town. And uh, yeah, we'll edit as needed. So hopefully you guys enjoy the series. If you do, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We also do a, a YouTube Let's Play as well. And uh, yeah, should be should be pretty good times. Um, what? Okay, that was weird. Um, we do a YouTube Let's Play of Diablo as well, and we have a Wilson Let's Play too. We have quite a bit of ARPG content on the channel, so if you're interested in that, be sure to check that out um, because we got some good stuff on there. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Right, we have a wand to start, so we can attack from range. Arcane Surge support, great. Let's put that on. Uh, should be noted that the economy is already rolling. I am starting this uh, a full week into the league, maybe two weeks into the league. Um, I did Diablo for the first week. I'm still playing Diablo. We're pushing leaderboards. We got rank two and rank one on the two different pushes we're doing. We're going to do another push this week and go for rank one or two again. Um, but I did want to get going on Path of Exile not sleep on it completely because I want to play this league. So we're going to start splitting our time between PoE and Diablo a little bit and uh, see how the season goes, see how the league goes. Hopefully it's good. Uh, we're going to be going for a build called Bane Pop. Uh, I'll put the link in the video description down below, but uh, it's already planned out for us. We got it off of a YouTuber's page, and it looks it looks pretty cool. These are the skills that we're looking for. Most of these we're not going to be able to find for a while, though. Um, Bane is the primary part of it. Wither, Despair, Temporal Change. Uh, we'll just kind of play what we can play in the meantime. Uh, but my character is stuck. It's totally lagging out there. That was interesting. Okay. Probably to start with like blight, maybe. Kind of in the theme of what we're going for. Three links. Nine percent. This looks pretty good. I'll take that. That way we can put some uh, put some supports and stuff on this later. Let's go and grab Arcane Surge right now and just throw it on to both abilities. Excellent. Looks like we start by pathing up this direction, grabbing spell damage right away. Yep. Do, do, do. Travel to Tidal Island, find the medicine chest. So, oops. Let's try a blight. Does it put a dot on him? It does. Nice, so we can just kind of hit him and run. We don't have to pick everything up in this game, so crafting materials are like the currency, but we only really want to be looking for valuable things. There's a three link chest. It's green. I don't know if we're going to need green for anything, but here's a new mechanic called Blight, where you kill things in the fog. The more things you kill, the more resources you get. Good God, that hurt. And then the like. I guess the fog slowly closes around you, and if you're not able to keep ahead of it, 
then you kind of miss out. I'm going to be picking up all the scrolls and stuff that I can find for the moment. Okay. And that's the end of that. Got a nice little ring and sash there. As we get a little bit more gear, we'll be able to keep ahead of that a little bit better. Um, but perfectly happy just to get some initial gear boost out of that. We'll go ahead and equip that when we hit the new zone. For now, we'll just keep kind of stepping forward here. Looks like we got a little bit of an elite. Fire Fury. Hmm. She leaves a mark, doesn't she? Uh, we have boots, magical boots, three sockets, two links. I will take those. Maybe they'll have movement speed on them. Control click to quick assign it. Swing back to town and sell that stuff. Equip our new things. All right, so we want to use the scrolls to identify the belt. Yeah, that's quite a bit better than what we had on. And then I thought we had, yeah, a ring. So physical damage ring as fire damage and cold damage to attacks. What is this classified as? Okay, so it's a spell channeling, so it's not an attack, right? Oops. So that won't actually add to that, is my understanding. I could be wrong. Mana regen though, regardless. I'll have to look into that, see if attacks applies to everything or if it separates it into attacks and spells. Regardless, we'll just go and sell this stuff. Mud flats. So we gotta gather some eggs here in the mud flats and find the cave. and enter the realm of delirium. Oh, wow, okay. I was like an instant death. I just got surrounded, my bad. Oh my gosh, we're starting to get hit really hard here. Okay, we gotta move forward. We actually have to pick that up. This is no joke. This delirium mechanic actually like really hurts. Jeez, okay. Well, that's the end of that for us, I'm afraid. Glad we're not playing hardcore. Got another ring. That really hurts. We're gonna have to get some survival if we're gonna use this channeling spell. And use them on the wall, get inside the cave, and then we go back uh, and look for the, the next zone. We'll come back here later. Okay. So Tidal Island is next. Right, so Contagion, I think that's actually one of the things we use, isn't it? No, we use Wither. Okay, well, we're gonna take Contagion anyway. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna throw it into the Onslaught section. Frost Blink gives us the ability to move around. We don't need Fireball anymore. I don't believe we'll be using that. I rearranged my skills here a little bit off screen. And uh, we have Frost Blink on our travel, which is W. We have our Contagion and we have our channel. So, and so Contagion, channel. I wonder if we can just like Contagion and move. Is that like strong enough to actually kill things in and of itself right now? It actually looks like it is if I give it a little bit of time. Great. 
can just hug one wall and make our way around. It's a big loop. It's like a donut. No big deal. So then those guys will move through. Let's say they should be weak enough that they just die to it. We do a little bit of a channel just to be sure. This guy is obviously not going to because he's a boss. Let's burn him as quick as we can. Amulet, since we don't have one. That's a better life flask. Quicksilver Flask is amazing. Plus our Poison Support, Summon Phantasm, Infused Channeling. Supports any channeling skill, protecting you from damage while you channel it. Sounds pretty good. Spell Cascade. Apply effects to an area around a targeted location. Support skills have 25% less area effects, 40% less damage. Grab that. Great. Okay. Alright, so what we're going to do is just move our frost blink over here. Oh, I guess they're linked either way, but uh, spell cascade, and then we're going to take our contagion and put it with spell cascade, and we're going to take our blight and put it with channeling, infused channeling. Awesome. Sell our old flask. And then I guess, I mean, I sort it there so it keeps leveling. I don't know if we really need it in there, but that's fine. Okay. So search mud flats, feed a pool, kill monsters and feed a pool, travel to slighted depths. Let me just go to submerged passage now, right? Okay. Okay, interesting. So it does like a, a bigger area of effect. That's not what I thought it was going to be. That's fine. This means we have to apply it less often. Looks like we got a blight zone up here. Or not blight, um, whatever it's called. Delirium. That's a dead end. Flooded depths. Great. If we go into a new zone, does it extend our timer? No, I actually think I just lost my loot. Did I just lose my loot? Oh, that sucks. Oh no, it dropped. Okay. This is like a side quest. So our spell is not quite strong enough to kill things on its own. Interesting. We, we do have to actually channel a little bit for things to actually die. But when we channel, things definitely die, so... I 
a spell cascade I'm not super duper impressed with. I actually think I'll take that off because it's causing it to do less damage. And I don't think it's really having much benefit, to be honest. Maybe we should just be able to channel through this because we have that support gem. Let's go ahead and curse things so that they we don't have so many things shooting us. Oops, hello. There we go. Oh, it's a passive skill point. All right. Life and mana, energy shield, max mana, and then arcane will. Those sound great, actually. Those sound amazing. And then we move up to last radius. That's actually really cool. Okay, yeah. So we're going to go this way first, I think. It's give us some survivability and some quality of life type things. So let's do that. It was nice having everything be automatically caught in the contagion, not having to aim it at all, but I don't think it's really worth losing damage over it. Because now, like, we put it on them and they actually die, right? Versus before they weren't. That's a pretty big deal. Killing things versus not killing things. I think I'll choose to kill things. Those might have like movement speed, so let's pick them up. And we have to kill all the monsters in this little zone, it looks like. Okay. Good to know. Hopefully I didn't miss any near the entrance there. Might have. So we can swap our portal scrolls, scrolls for uh, identify scrolls. And since we can just log out to menu to get back to the town, that's a little way we can conserve our uh, our scrolls here at the very beginning, I guess. Great. I like how it spreads. Contagion's actually pretty cool. Uh, it's not where we're gonna go with overall, but it, I mean it'll work for now while we're waiting to get the thing that we want to use long term. It is a viable option instead of what we're going to use, but I like the look of what we're going to use a little bit better. So it has to be a, like a random guy. Yeah. Some like guys I just missed as I was plowing through before I realized I had to kill everything. There it is. And then we can just again exit to character select and log back in. And we're back to town for free without having to use a scroll. <gasps> I'm learning, I'm learning. Okay, two passive respect points. We shouldn't need them, but just in case we end up needing them. Movement speed, beautiful. Okay. Can I? I can't cast over the wall. Okay. Ooh, scroll of wisdom. I don't mind if I do. Maybe not at the speed I'm going. <laughs> oh boy, this is bad. Let's try that again. <laughs> And go through, pick this up, move and speed it up.
waypoints. Keep moving forward, pop those. Okay. Not gonna worry about that portal scroll. Just wanna try to maximize this particular one. See if we can get up to the next tier. I'm noticing the bottom right, bottom left, there's like a little thing showing what we're getting, I guess. So let's see if we can get better rewards this time around than we did the last couple times. Orb of Chance, I will definitely take that. I feel like we're doing better. Oh, that's probably it right there. Nice. Oh yeah, we did really good. Excellent. We got a couple legendaries there. Sweet. All right, this is a like a boss channel on it. Try not to die to its random lightning effects. Great. All right, what do we get? Some good stuff it looks like. Uh, so we got two unique bows. Same thing it looks like on both. And we got a, sta a sash that's gonna give us max life and mana. It's actually significantly better than what we had, so I will take that. And I'm just kind of curious as to what this bow is. Silver Branch Crude Bow, plus one to socket level of bow gems. That seems really good for a bow. I will hold off on identifying the other one until I have a bit more uh, scrolls, but it's pretty cool. We actually got a magical flask there. Uh, I will use the scroll on that. Instant recovery, nice. 66% instant recovery when I pop it. I'm happy to have that. Like I said earlier, we can pour, we can vendor the portal scrolls to get wisdom scrolls early on here. And that's pretty useful for us. Grab the stuff that I'd missed there. Sped through that as quick as I could. So extra max life and max mana should just be a nice little quality of life type thing for us. Screen kind of freaked out there for a second, not quite sure why. Great. Totally missed that. And on to the climb we go. 817, my meeting is at 9. So I have to stop and take a shower before my meeting as well. We'll see how far we can get here. Waypoints. Takes a while to get back in the swing of this game after playing Diablo and Wilson and stuff. It's just a different kind of game. The reliance on flasks is very different compared to those games. Um, just gotta get back in the habit of using them again, is all. Not a big deal, really. I do really need these scrolls of wisdom, though. Um, might cost me a little bit of progression here in this zone, but. Nice. 
think we're gonna stall out here because of the fawn. Go back there in a second. Just see if we can keep this rolling for another few seconds here. Seems like an effective uh, skill for doing this kind of content. We're kind of speeding through. Okay, that should be the end of that. I don't think I can go any further. So, so we've got currency and items. All right. Save the bows in case I can sell them. I've never actually used PoE trade. I've got to max. I've played through the campaign three times, but I've never used PoE trade. I've always done it like solo self found kind of thing. Um, so I might actually give that a go this time around. Okay. I don't think we need to identify any of the rest of that, so we can just sell the rest. Okay, so Void Manipulation. Support skills deal more chaos damage. That seems good for what we're doing. Uh, increased duration seems really good too. Um, duration of ailments have 20% increased effect of non-damaging ailments. 25% more damage with ailments. Uh, doesn't It says it doesn't work with contagion. Interesting. I would have thought it would, uh, but this one does. Void manipulation does. So you can see the little check marks and X's down below shows you what it works with, which is nice, quick, handy little reference if you're not good at this game. <laughs> you know, like I'm not good at this game. <laughs> it's helpful for me. Um, so we're going to put void manipulation in there with our um, contagion so it does a bit more damage. Hello. How are you? Cool. And we have a trial. It's our first one. Great. Maybe we have plenty of health to just eat it. Ah, almost made it. Oh, not that much health. So that is, I think, a wand. It's a yellow wand. That could be helpful for us. Oh, it's a two-handed, isn't it? Okay. Oh, never mind, but we'll still take it because we have the inventory space, so might as well, right? Looks like we have a delirium encounter up ahead. So I have a nice little elite right here, so we might as well kill him before we start our delirium encounter. A large life flask. Fantastic. All right. Uh, actually, looks like the clearing encounters could go around this way. So let's go and just start it. I think I went the wrong way. This could be a dead end. Maybe not. I feel like it might be though. Let's try and move away from the uh, where you click the portal, where you enter it, because the it expands out like it's like a donut, right? And you just have to avoid the center. I think that's it. Yeah, we're done. We can't make it any further than that. We went the wrong way. All right. Cool. Couple 
items. We'll see what we got. Got a couple rings, a couple yellow rings again. Seems like it's a really good way to get just some rings going. So that's fantastic. Um, don't know that that head will be any better than what we have. It is yellow, so let's just have a look. Strength, dexterity, life. Uh, yeah, I mean, it gives us life. Sure. More survivability. It's an energy chain belt, so that's probably good for us. Max life, max mana. More life, more mana. Some fire resist, which I guess is really good. So, sure. And then we got two rings. We can only identify one of them. Let's identify the ring with mana. Uh, life gain on kill sounds pretty darn good. Um, we'll replace the carry and loop because that looks like the weaker of the two. Yep. Great. I went the wrong way. I think we have to go up this way. Oh no, I went the wrong way. I just realized I have like multiple skill points to put in. Lel. Alright, not bad. Hopefully some of those are actually decent for us. I'll check it out in a second. Some gloves. The gloves might be good. Increase attack speed when life on full. Lightning damage added to attacks. Movement speed when low on life. Sure. Sounds good. I didn't have anything good on anyway, so... I thought I had two uniques, or three uniques, but I guess I only had two. I don't think... We're not going to use the shield, so I'm not going to bother identifying it. Oh, there it is. Amulet. Mm, chance to block spell damage, increase cast speed, max mana. Yeah, that's way better than what we have. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, that uh, mechanic is great. Alright, so we're going to go up this way to get that. Get some mana regen first. So we've got energy shield, max mana, intelligence, max mana, mana regeneration. Max mana, mana regeneration, mana recovery from class, max mana as energy shield. So, just lots and lots of, like, mana type things right there. So tons of sustain, right? Uh, I feel like chests in this game are not great unless they're the, like, protected ones guarded by by minions and stuff. Okay. So I don't know how hard he's going to hit. We'll just play it a little safe with him. Let's see, we'll channel. Uh, not that bad, actually. Oof, I take it back. I mean, we burned a lot of his life down there. We can just finish him off here, I think. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so we have several things of slippers. Which we can grab in case they have more movement speed than the ones we're using. Perhaps. Hard to say. Just gotta rearrange a little bit. And I don't think we need that other stuff, so now we can just move forward because there should be a waypoint when we get out of here. 
um, in the next zone just right away here. We could have went out to menu, but there should be a waypoint right here, so no big deal. And that is Act 1. We're almost through Act 1. Nice. We'll turn in our quest, see if there's anything that's rewards. Yes. Body swap, wither. Wither was one of the things we're supposed to use. Flame dash was one of the things we're supposed to use. Debilitating debuff an enemies in an area, hindering their movement, inflicting withered, which increases chaos damage they take and can stack up to 15 times. Okay, so that's for like bosses. We'll grab that. We'll also need to grab Flame Dash from Nessa. I will purchase that. There that is. Okay. Oh, let's put on that. So I didn't actually read what that does, but. It's something that says we need. Um, removes the existing elusive buff before applying both elusive buff. Grants phasing while you have this buff. Mon monsters that enter the area will be withered. Using a scale increases. Okay, so withered is they take additional chaos damage, right? So if I do that and then I channel, that's good for killing elites. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. And we can flame dash in addition to ice blink for more movements. Great. On to ship graveyard. All right. All right, we got this little little section. Forgot about this. Okay. Oh, I'm so bad at the zone. Okay. I will see how this one goes. I, I have a feeling this one will not go well. I'm quite bad at navigating the zone. Grab the waypoint. Looks super funky within the fog. There's the zone. Cavern of the Wraith. It's one of the places we have to go. But I am afraid we're going to lose our, uh, our thing. Our delirium. Nice chromatic orb. We'll definitely take that. Gnarled branch. Unique. Cool. Yeah, it seems like you get a lot of uniques from this uh, mechanic, which is kind of cool. My bad team. Wait, did I not actually activate it there? There we go. And that's a dead end. So much regret. And that's another dead end. Let's burn the stuff we have because we're going to run out of time. Okay, 
Yeah, it wasn't a very good one. I hit two different dead ends. I don't know if I actually have to kill this guy, but we're going to. Keep trying to hit M to go back to map. I know it doesn't work like that. Could have probably went to menu there instead of using a scroll, but that's fine. Graveyards. So we're going to activate our... Wait, did they change this fight? This looks different. Okay, that yeah, was pretty sure that was different than it used to be. Hmm. Right, back to that other zone that we found the waypoint for earlier, and then we make our way up to the boss. of alchemy dropped have to go back for it and probably cost me my delirium worth though oh it's a dead end wow my pathing definitely leaves something to be desired right now doesn't it mm, i think that was a chromatic Hard to tell. Just trying to keep moving so I can get a little bit better benefit here, but I think we're just gonna have a pretty bad one this time around too. Okay, into the caverns of anger. I think it continues following us, so let's just see. Oh, maybe not. Looks like it doesn't. So we just have to go back and Tell it to end. Okay. Cool. Mm, looks like there's another one up here, though, so that's okay. This one's got crazy density. Holy crap. I'm actually going to stop and just go back and kill these guys because they don't appear to be dying, so. That guy hurts. Yep. It's like a lot of currency just from doing the mechanic. It actually is, it helps a lot with this whole leveling process, I feel like. Yep. So hopefully we can kill the boss relatively quickly as well with this setup, because we have Wither um, with our Contagion. And so I think what we do is we Wither them. Oops. Hold on. And we put up our Aura, and then we just channel on them, right? I don't know if Wither, does Wither stack? Last two seconds, stacks 15 times. Yeah, so 
We can do multiple withers and then throw on our contagion and then channel. And that's probably the way to go. They tune this boss up, I guess, from what I've gathered, from what it was before. So we do want to kind of be wary of that. So I just stacked as many withers as I could there. Oh my god, okay. And she hits considerably harder than she did before. Let's take care of her little minions here. It's gonna give us some uh, stacks of our flask back, right? We're gonna die, I think. Because we're not getting any flask stacks yet. I need her minions to die so I can get flask. There it is. So that's fine. We're not on hardcore. So we just go checkpoint and we pop right back in and just keep fighting her, really. Alright, so wither, 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 four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, contagion and burn. And burn. And this is just the first stage. Yeah, she's a lot harder than she used to be. She used to be pretty easy. So that's that's cool that they tuned it up a little. Second stage is even harder. I should have probably put in my skill points. We'll probably do that before we continue further. Before we try her again, because I'm expecting we die again here. Put our contagion and wither like crazy. Okay. Uh, so let's put in our skill points real quick. So our next path is up to these within the area of effect stuff. Okay. Area of effect, area of effect, and area of effect and area of effect damage. Great. Help a little bit. I actually think I was in it there. Oh, she has a little aura around her. Okay, yeah, she's a lot harder than she used to be. That's cool. I appreciate that. And we move into the next zone. All right, so we're on Act 2, and that's where we're going to end this episode because i got to go get ready for my meeting. You guys have a wonderful day. If you liked the video, make sure you like, favorite, share, subscribe, comment down below. Tune in for more episodes of this Let's Play. We'll go all the way through maps and hopefully through Elder Kill this time around. And hopefully it goes well. Hope to see you guys around. Bye, guys.